Friends, I'm back with sort of my final review of the Latitude Equator Stratocaster type guitar. And uh, I wanted to say I did play with it this weekend at a show in Lenore, North Carolina. I played it on maybe four songs. What I did, I needed a guitar that was tuned a full step down for a number of songs, and so I had this one tuned down. And I went and set it up. Uh, I left the 10-gauge strings on it. I said I was going to put eights or nines on it, but I did not. I left 10-gauge strings on it because it was tuned down slack. It actually played great. Stayed in tune great, uh, sounded awesome. It does it, it sounds great, sounds excellent. Uh, this morning I have it tuned back to standard. It plays splendid. Now, um, when I say final review, uh, I've already covered kind of what the features are. For people who just see this video, I'll real quickly go over them. Stainless steel frets, maple neck, uh, alder body, uh, roasted maple neck, locking tuners. Uh, I did change out this string tree. I put a graphite string tree there instead of the metal one that was there. Uh, the trim, I don't, don't have the trim bar in there, but I've got the trim set where it, it works really good. I would say, I would say it's as good as, as the trim on this strap. It's, it's, it's that, it's the equivalent of that, which this has always been, this has sort of been one of my number one strats, even though it's a made in Mexico. Um, this is the one I've played for years when I go out live. Uh, 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 you know, does it play as comfortably as that strat? Well, I'm just used to that strat. But I would say that the neck itself and everything feels maybe probably better. I mean, to me it does. I like the big stainless steel frets. The Alnico 5 pickups sounded great. Uh, I was going through a Helix. Uh, two of the songs were distorted, two of the songs were pretty much clean, performed excellent, stayed in tune, um, $300 guitar, $299 you can get them. Uh, one thing if you're looking at that, look at this and see, there's where the hole for the, uh, for the old string tree was, it's, just, it's right here. I thought it was way too close to the nut, so I moved this one back, and, and I, I tried putting the screw in without drilling a pre-hole, so there's another little hole here. This seems to be sort of the optimal place, in my opinion, for a, a good graphite string tree. It, there's no, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no buzzing or anything like that. And I honestly don't know that it needed it. Now those tuners are not staggered. Just so you know, they're, they're not, they're, they're all the same height. So it's not like you're getting a, a set of the staggered, staggered locking tuners. But they seem to function really well, and the guitar in all positions sounds good. I'm playing through a Vox AC-10 C1. Just real quickly, I'll play a chord or two and maybe one lick to show what each position sounds like. This is the bridge. sounding pickup. Again, I've, I've covered some of this on my other videos, but I kind of want this one to be the do-all, uh, end-all little final review. Here's the in-between position between these two pickups here. Nice uh, strat sound. Let me turn the reverb down just a little bit. Somebody got a lot of reverb this morning. I don't know what I was thinking. A little better. The middle pickup. It's a nice thick sound in Alnico 5. Nice sound. got 
this position here, the in-between these two pickets. A little darker sound. pickup sound. I love this neck pickup. kicks to show you the difference in that and my strap let me just play it real quick not change anything on the amp showing you this for comparison's sake kind of sound, but it's something I like. That's it, folks. It is a straight up, simple strap. I would say it feature wise because of the tuners, because of the rusted maple neck, because of the uh, really nice Alnico 5 pickups, which I could raise up. I think one of the differences in the, in the Strat sound, definitely so, uh, and, and this one is that I've got these 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 pickups need to be brought up a little closer to the strings. You can see I've got, I've got them pretty far away. Maybe you can make that out. Um, I did go in and adjust the springs, the spring tension on the trim, and that made the trim stay in tune better. I did replace this uh, with a graphite string tree, as I say. And, and I did some just some adjusting of the string height here. Uh, the one thing I may not have mentioned is this is a compound radius. I believe it is a 10 to 14 on this, whereas my Strat, I think, is just a regular old 9.5. So... And I've got a phone call. So in summation, <laughs> my final reviews is this is pretty excellent, pretty excellent guitar, especially for the price. I don't think in the Squire realm you're going to get better uh, features. Uh, just know you might have to do a little bit of setup work, but uh, yes, I meant I think it's killer. <laughs> Equator. The hardest part of it for me is remembering the name of the guitar. <laughs> Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.